Hi everyone, Matthew here from MRKWP. I'm a professional WordPress developer, and here I have a tip for those looking at scheduled actions. Scheduled actions are actions that happen in the background whenever you have a WooCommerce setup or something like Events Calendar, and WP Rocket also uses it. The issue with this log is it gets very large and can start stressing your database. In this video, I'll show you quickly how to use SQL commands to empty out those completed actions and clear out the log. Let's jump into the screencast, I'll show you how it works. If you're running WooCommerce, you may end up with a large number of scheduled actions. In here, I've only got a few at the moment with 20. So if you've got that low number, all you need to do is go into screen options, go to number of items per page, change it to 100, click apply, and then you can do a bulk delete. And this means that all of these items as they get built up can easily be deleted. If however, you've got more than sort of a couple of thousand, which often happens, you may want to run a command directly inside your database. To do that, open up your database management system. Inside Cloudways, I have this panel, not sure what it's called, and others have things like PHP My Admin. We're looking at these WP Action Scheduler, actions, groups, and logs. And we're going to run a SQL command in this case to be able to delete out those items that, are, that have already been completed. To do that, we're going to paste in a SQL command. So we've got delete from WP Action Scheduler Actions where the status is complete. So that gets those actions that are already completed. So here we have 20 of them and we're going to delete them. So we just click execute like that and there we go, 20 rows affected and all of those are deleted. When I come back to the website, that 20 is now gone. We have pending actions only. However, there are logs remaining. So if I go inside my log table here, we can see that we've got quite a lot of logs in there. There's actually 60 rows. So if in this one, I go ahead and select everything, then that's not gonna cover everything in, in all the entirety. So that's why I have this item here to click to say 60 rows. So I can select all 60 rows. And then I can say delete, okay. And there we go. We can see that that has all been done. And that now means that my database is all cleaned up and I only have pending items. It's also good to run this when you have a large database before you do any migrations or anything like that, because there's no point migrating completed actions. You can remove them out on a general sort of schedule or something like that, but you certainly don't need to migrate them. And when you're going from staging to dev or anything like that, this is a great way to be able to reduce your database load with any migration tool. Well, I hope you liked that quick tip on WordPress and how to manage your WordPress website. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any other kinds of questions around how to manage your WordPress website, why don't you leave a comment below and I'll answer it in one of my next videos. All right, I'll see you later.